Hello and welcome back to another daily cribbage and a merry St. Patrick's Day to you all. We're against Greg, who is quite uh, quite compressed. No flushes in hand, so we'll keep the three double six. We get a two, which is lovely, really nice, because that makes a run and a few more fifteens. So let's see if our opponent has a five. They do. We get that trap off. That's a classic with the double six four. Um, the idea is you play out your two sixes, and which makes it, which makes the total twenty two. And if your opponent only has tens and fives. It forces them to play out uh, their five, and then you get to make a run, and 31. Okay, opponent is tempting us. Let's see if they've just got fives left. No. We get a lot of points on the play here. We are scoring very well. Opponent does have a lot of points in hand, though. 12 points with the double five, double ten. But we got our own double run in the crib. Okay, really aggressive starts, but really fun. Let's see where we can go with this. We've got triple three. Let's keep that together. What do we want to keep it with? Well, we can keep it with a queen. <laughs> and there's the other three. It would be a shame not to see all of the threes. Opponent's got three, four, five, seven. Uh, and hits the 8 on top for 9 points. 5 points in the grip. Computer throws away Queen King because I guess it I guess it makes a few more 15s with uh, a few more 15s if we had a 5. We got a nice flush in hand here. That's better than throwing away double 2, so let's do that. We had an 8 on top, which is really good. I really just want to pair this too. I will do it. It's not so bad if they triple us. It's not so bad at all. They've got fives. It's worth noting. And aces, I guess. What else do they have? Threes. Yeah, two, three, four, eight. I don't want to speak too soon, but I wonder if this will be the game that brings us out of the out of the of the losing streak. If we say it too soon, then we're going to it's not going to happen. So let's stay quiet until the very end of the game. In the meantime, we picked up triple six three, which is a very nice twelve point hand. The two on top doesn't really help us. When we get triple six, though, it does mean that our opponent, uh, we don't have much playability, so there wasn't really too much to do there. And what's next? We've got three double six again, another four points. We get to keep it with an eight, which means that sevens are really good for us, but we don't get a seven. But we do get to try and use the three eight, which is a magic eleven. Okay, opponent gets ten points, doesn't bring them all the way to the milestone but it's beginning to get a little bit scary maybe we need to maybe we need to start putting our eyes on the road and making sure that we don't derail okay three four five ten i think is on the cards it was slightly better than three ten okay and we lead a uh, ten here we get five, we get tripled, it's okay. Opponent still needs to make up a few points. In reality, I think we're actually terrified of getting triple five there, so I'm very lucky that didn't happen. And opponent runs into something quite average, so they don't get to uh, get into a position where they're ready to go out. We've got a flush in hand. There's also just three king that we can discard. We can also discard five king. I like five king here. And we'll just make this 15. Six jack. 
That's not a very promising combo, and her opponent simply gives up. Um, does happen sometimes. So overall, we had an excellent game. Look at this. We we got so many points on the play. Really makes me happy to see. <laughs> happy to see so many points. Our hands were pretty reasonable, and so were our crips. We weren't too far behind in either department, but it was really the play where we excelled. So. It's always always a good feeling to get that and I'm just going to call it a quick one today. We got our first win. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.